The SAP MII Workbench is an integrated development environment for developing and managing SAP MII development objects such as query templates, display templates, business logic transactions, animated objects, and web pages that make use of those elements. It's the development environment for the composite applications you develop in SAP MII. You can create the following objects using the SAP MII Workbench. Business Logic Services Transactions, Manufacturing Data Objects, Animated Graphics, Query Templates, Aggregate Query, OLAP Query, SQL Query, SAP Plant Connectivity Query, Execute Query, XML Query, Display Templates, i5 Grid, iTicker, i5 Chart, i5 SPC Chart, iBrowser, iCommand, Files, Key Performance Indicators, Alerts, Although the other object types are very specific to SAP MII, you can use the file type to create a file with any extension. This is mostly utilized for web pages with .irpt or .html extensions, XML style sheets, and image files used in the web pages. The SAP MII Workbench is a Java Swing application that you can invoke using the Data Services Workbench menu option, as shown in this figure. You need Java Runtime Environment 1.8 or above pre-installed in the client system to use the Workbench. The development objects you create using the SAP MII Workbench are saved and executed on the server. The content areas are as follows. The number 1 denotes the object browser. The number 2, the modeling area. The number 3, the context-sensitive configuration option. Let's now talk about the layout content organization, security, and other important functionalities of the SAP MII Workbench. The Workbench layout consists of a menu bar and a toolbar containing buttons for the most common functions. The lower section of the toolbar is split into two parts, with the one on the left being further divided into the Objects Browser and the context-sensitive configuration options. The right side is the modeling area where you can create or edit the various SAP MII development objects, as follows. The number 1 denotes projects. The number 2, folders. The number 3, transactions. The number 4, display templates. The number 5, animated graphics. And the number 6, query templates. The object browser, which also shows when you are saving or opening an object, displays information in a hierarchical fashion about the SAP MII objects that have been created by various users. The Catalog tab of the Object Browser displays content such as display templates, query templates, business logic transactions, animated graphics, and the like, and the Object tab displays the MDO, KPI, and alert objects. The Web tab displays all the web content, such as web pages, .irpt or .html files, image files, XML style sheets, and any other external file types that can be imported or created in the content catalog, and the Meta INF tab displays the property files, navigation links, scheduler and role configuration files, value mapping files, and shared memory. The context-sensitive configuration options pane displays configuration options according to the object currently being edited in the workbench. For query and display templates, it shows two tabs. Displays the configuration options for the type of display or query template selected. Displays basic metadata for the object, such as who created or modified it and when. The first tab changes if you have an animated object open. In that case, the first tab is called Actions, and it displays the configuration properties for the object. Selecting a business logic transaction displays three tabs, Action, Transaction, and Properties. The Action tab provides a list of action blocks that you can use in the transaction, collected together in logical groups according to the type of functionality they incorporate. For example, action blocks such as the Tracer, XML Tracer, and the Event Logger are grouped under the Logging category. The Transaction tab gives you access to transaction properties and tasks that can also be performed using the menu bar. The Modeling area is used for creating or modifying SAP MII development objects. Each object that is being worked on is opened in a new tab in the Modeling area, with the name of the object as the name of the tab. SAP MII mandates that all content is created under a project, a collection or logical grouping of development objects that you can organize under one or more folders. We recommend grouping each SAP MII development object type in a separate folder. 
For example, query templates should be saved in a folder of the same name, and web content should reside under the default web folder in the web view. If you're using Source Control Management via NWDI, you need to log into Source Control after opening the Workbench using the Source Control Log on menu in the Workbench. You can also save the login credentials and select Auto Log On by selecting the checkboxes in the Source Control Login dialog, and then the system will automatically log you in when you open the Workbench using the saved credentials. You can create a project manually by right-clicking anywhere in the Object Browser and selecting the New Project or New Shared Project option from the Context menu. The New Project option will create the project locally in the SAP MII server only, whereas the New Shared Project option will create the project in the SAP MII server and share it in the NWDI track for source control. You need to specify a predefined software component and vendor name specified in NWDI while creating a shared project. You can also import project archives directly into the workbench using the project's configuration menu option. You can export content out of the workbench by right-clicking the appropriate content object and selecting the export menu option. You can import existing external content into a project by right-clicking the project name and selecting import which opens a window enabling you to select the appropriate file. Note that catalog objects such as query templates, display templates, business logic services, BLS, and animated objects are available in the catalog tab of the workbench, whereas web objects such as HTML slash IRPT pages and image files are available in the web tab. MDOs, KPIs, and alerts are available in the object tab of the content browser. Shared memory, value map, Project configurations for schedulers and navigation and language property files are available in the MetaINF tab. To develop an SAP MII composite application, start by making a new project and then placing folders under it to create the development objects. The SAP MII Workbench provides different menu options for various functionalities required for editing or modeling the development objects. Note, all SAP MII content objects are stored in the SAP MII database, which is part of SAP NetWeaver AS Java. Web content such as HTML, IRPT, and JSP files are also copied with the full hierarchy of the project, in a folder called CM, which is located in the context root of the SAP MII application deployed in SAP NetWeaver AS Java and can be accessed by the following URL pattern from web browsers. Some of the key functionalities provided by the toolbar menu in the SAP MII Workbench, shown in this figure, are as follows. Creates a new SAP MII content object. A submenu provides a choice of SAP MII content objects to create. Creates a new SAP MII project to organize content into. Saves the open object to its current location saves the open object to a location different than its current location, for example, in a separate folder under the same project or in a folder in a different project. Saves all open content objects in all tabs to their respective locations. Imports SAP MII development objects or project slash folders into the SAP MII workbench from a local machine. Exports selected SAP MII development objects or project slash folders from the SAP MII workbench from a local machine. Transports the selected SAP MII development object into another SAP MII server specified by its host and port. These editing functions can be used to transfer action blocks inside single or multiple BLS transactions. Executes the selected object such as BLS or query templates in the workbench or web pages in external web browsers. Valid for web content only. Copies web content open in the active tab, with its hierarchy, to the CM folder under the application root in SAP NetWeaver AS Java. Use this option if you encounter problems executing your web content. These settings help you to customize the look and feel of the SAP MII workbench. You can change the font size, color, theme, and accessibility features. A restart of the workbench is required for these settings to take effect. You can assign read or write permissions based on the role of the user to the content that you develop using the SAP MII workbench.
users who have been granted read access by assigning them the reader role can view and execute development objects such as query templates, display templates, BLS transactions, KPIs, alerts, MDOs, and animated objects either from the workbench or from a web application using SAP MII applets. A user who has write access can modify these objects, in addition to viewing and executing them. The only exception to this security model is the web content, which cannot be assigned any security roles because it runs on the server and thus is not solely under the purview of SAP MII content security. The security configuration screen is the same for all SAP MII Workbench content objects and is split into four lists. The lists on the left side display assigned reader and writer roles, and the lists on the right side display available roles. You can select the roles that need to be assigned to the required object in the list on the right side and transfer them to the list on the left side by using these buttons. Similarly, you can unassign roles from the selected service by selecting the roles in the list on the left side and using these buttons to move them to the list on the right. It's possible to select multiple roles in either list by pressing the Shift or Control key. These buttons transfer the selected single or multiple rows, whereas these transfer all entries in one list to the other. Don't forget to save the object after assigning or unassigning roles. You can use the SAP MII standard UME roles like these or any other roles defined in the UME. Now consider a small example to see how this security model works. Production supervisors Jim and Ram can view production data for shifts in a company, and plant managers Bill and Sham are permitted to create queries. So the users Bill and Sham are assigned to the SAP XMII developer's role, which is assigned to the writer roles in the query templates. The production supervisors Jim and Ram are assigned to the SAP XMAI user's role, which is assigned only to the reader roles for these queries. All other employees who do not have these roles assigned to their users are not permitted to view this information, 